when, if ever, do coaches feel comfortable about their team? Well, I hope they're comfortable right now, but we know, B.A., coaches are always on the edge of their seats. Now here's Hill. Here's Arenas. And there's the rejection. Isaac for three. That one's good, and it's Young with the assist. In terms of playmaking, Trey is as good as they come. Hill can't connect. Hawkes, the pass to Isaac. Here's Hawkes. Butler covering. Five on the clock. Here's Hunter. Oh, the turnaround jumper. Count it. Some guys just understand how to generate points. He's one of them. Healed against Hill. Deflected. And a fast break now for the Hawks. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. Great recognition. Understanding that that one is all him. Sometimes that's the call. You want to be unselfish, but even more so, you want to be effective. The Wizards making a switch here. Toppins checked in. Hill against Heel. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. That one on Heel. Well, that was clearly a foul. He's off on the first. This is hard to believe, Grant, but the Wizards haven't been to the conference finals since 1979. It is hard to believe. I mean, they've had some fantastic players over the years. But let me tell you, these fans in my hometown are hungry for a deep playoff run. Isaac doesn't go for him. Excellent D there from Toppin. Outside, Hill. Toppin outside. Here he goes, and a slam dunk by Toppin. B.A., forget about attempting the long-range three to cut into that lead. Just attack the rim, my man. Man, that was sweet. And the basket by Heel. The big story thus far, how well they've shot the rock. Here's Arenas. His last outing, we saw him score 22. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. They are out of rhythm. One for five so far. You just need to calm down and reward your matchups. Pass to Rodman. Here's Arenas. Hunter covering. Rodman, the pass to Lanier. Here's Arenas. From the high post, he drills it. Unselfish, moving the ball. Love to see this kind of offense. And the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play. Kispert's checked in for Washington. Free throw, no good for Young. I know Trey can seem frustrated at times, but to me, that's just his passion showing. He cares about the outcome of every play. Here's Lanier, and the layup falls. Sometimes, with that much of a height advantage, resistance is futile. The three. Young can't hit. He's got a nice feel for that crossover, but you still have to finish. Pass to Hill. Shot from the top of the key, and the bucket is good. And so it's Young with it. He brings it up for Atlanta. They lead by four. Coming off a win against the Hornets. They really had a strong night shooting the basketball. They got hot and stayed hot. They were very patient, and that was the difference. It's hard to be patient, I know. But look at the outcome they had. Now a timeout called by Washington. Here are the most accurate point guards in the NBA this season when it comes to field goal percentage. Number one, Trey Young. And the name of the game is efficiency, especially at the point. I mean, to shoot at that clip says a lot about his skill level. I love when you have guys that care about their field goal percentage, guys who can take it down low and add to that percentage. Now, you want to get him going as soon as possible. Great way for him to start this game. And we know once he gets in the rhythm, he's a really tough guy to stop. And the basket by Heel. And the defense is really allowing them too much room on the perimeter. Toppin outside. Who poked away. Gets stolen by Isaac. 
Hawkes, the pass to Isaac. Over Toppin. Again, Atlanta. Defensively, their effort hasn't been great early on. The Wizards have gone five of nine from the floor. Hill against Heald. Fires from the line. And there are the Wizards with another bucket. Oh, explosive crossover. How's that for a move? Outside heel. Let's go with a three. That one's good. And it's Young with the assist. Young's got five assists tonight. And they've got the D really. A full three-point attack right off the tip. Here's Lanier. Right now contributing around ten and a half points a game. Here's Hunter. And it's flushed down. A nice jam. What a way to begin this game. Dominating at both ends of the floor. They came in prepared, focused, and really jumped on the other team early. Now here's Isaac. In his last outing, 16 points for him. And what's working here? Each guy is willing to make the next pass. Eight second difference between the shot clock and game clock. The Wizards with another miss. Come on, that's your bread and butter. You can't miss that. Gets the three ball to go. Heald's got 15 points. As the deep shots continue to fall, you can sense the frustration growing among these defenders. Hill with it. And that's not going to go. Buddy Heald has been leading the charge for Atlanta, training five threes in that quarter. Five. This guy's locked in. Back after this. If you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but plenty of time left for a comeback. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Hawks. They came out firing from deep. It's always good for a team's confidence when you can start a game that high. Well, I've also really loved watching them connect from the in-between area. I mean, they're finding ways to do damage consistently from there. They've got Jonathan Isaac, and it's Jaquez in at the small forward position. So that's the lineup for Atlanta. Here's Murray. Nice shot from the wing. He drops yet another dime. Just facilitating this offense like a maestro. Arenas passes to Bagley. From nine feet out, the rebound by the Hawks. Isaac's got four rebounds in the game. Nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. The Dante Murray loves to play with flair, and he did not hold back on that dunk. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Atlanta's gone seven of nine from three-point range so far. From outside, off the mark. Just enough of a shot contest to bother him. Pass to Waiters. Hunter with the rebound. Man, coach is going to have a few words with him after that shot. And you know what? He knows it. You have to try to play within the system or you're going to come away with empty possessions. Now a timeout called by Washington. Our 2K leaderboard highlighting the NBA's assist leaders over the last month. The Hawks number one. And over this last stretch, this team has been incredible passing the rock, playing great team basketball. Now approaching two minutes of action here in the second. Outside Butler. Pass to Arenas. They set a pick. Here's Lanier. Clock at six. Here's Arenas. His offense has been fantastic. Averaging just over 17 a game. Well orchestrated. And then the pass is right on the money. Isaac with it. Started by Toppin. Another three for Atlanta. Backing up that last three with another three. 
the defense has to stop giving them so many clean looks. Smitty, in terms of building a title team, is the era of super teams over, you think? B.A., no way. Despite what happened with KD Harden and Kyrie in Brooklyn, the front offices will always look to align stars. I think you just need the right personalities. And forcing the defense's hand right there. I mean, Jonathan Isaac to the line. A good sign for this team. Bagley's checked in for Washington. Kispert comes in for Butler. And he can't hit the second. And a lot of NBA players and former players are getting into film production. How rewarding has that been, Greg? You know, B.A., storytelling is so gratifying and also so very important. Players do have a voice like never before. And these ventures are just another way of expressing that voice. Now here's Hunter. He played a great game against Charlotte. And the basket is good. Hunter's got nine. You really have to question the defensive effort on that possession. They are getting bare tonight with plays like that one, allowing too much space for a good shooter. And that's not the look they wanted. The defender was right there. Isaac outside. And the Hawks with another three. And this is why so many love Isaac. Almost seven feet tall, able to space the floor, too, with his three-point shot. Here's Arenas. It's tipped. Here's Murray. Got a hand on it. Here's Kispert. No points yet. Pass to Arenas. Pulls up. And counted. Now four for nine. Here in the second quarter, he's looking much more comfortable with his offense. Here's Jaquez. No good on the three. Well, the Wizards shooting just under 40% from the field. And he drives in. He blocks it again. A defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Protecting the rim well. Love the hustle. Now here's Murray. And he's been a big part of their offense, averaging more than 18 points a game. That's a great job drawing the foul, getting to the line. Murray's crafty, especially for his age. The first free throw is good. Both shots good from the strike. Yeah, they, they're really cashing in more at the line here in the second quarter. Pulls it. Rebound Atlanta. Hunter's got six rebounds here tonight. The three. Oh, the Hawks again cannot hit it. Murray's gone two of five from the floor. And out of bounds. Atlanta will have it. And as teams are grinding through their schedules, let's see how it's going out east. Taking a look at Atlanta, they are holding down the number one spot in the conference. Not a bad position to be in. And of course, the Wizards currently a ways below. Well, for the Wizards, they had some lofty goals to start the year. But they may not have the roster to hang with the league's elite teams. I thought this might happen. Confidence can take you a long way, but you also have to have the talent to back it up. Defended by Murray. Pass to Hill. And they waste no time getting those three points back. Exchanging buckets from downtown. That's been a staple of tonight's game. Hey, players love competition. And the fans love it as well. Defended by Murray. And DeJounte Murray is going to pick up the foul. That's his first foul of the game. These calls can be so difficult for officials to make. And a second look at that rejection, taking no prisoners on defense there. <laughs> yeah, I love that they maintain the defensive energy even when they're behind. Toppin, he's checked in for Bagley. Thirty-five seconds left in the first half of basketball. Defended by Murray, back to Hill. Inside. And the officials call goaltending. So they'll award the basket. That's just good basketball. Can't ask for a better look. I mean, he had the right idea, but his timing was just a little off, and it resulted in a goaltend. Kispert's checked in for Washington. Black passes to Hunter. Isaac for three. And the Hawks with another three. <laughs> They're getting torched on the perimeter. Four of the last five buckets have been threes. And stolen by Murray. Here's Black. Using his post moves to get the two points. 
Black's got his first basket of the night. There's a touch of artistry to the floater. Takes feel as much as skill. And so it's Atlanta just dominating the opposition as they maintain a 36-point advantage. And their three-point shooting, a big reason they have a sizable lead. We'll be right back with you shortly. Welcome to the Halftime Show. And if they're going to turn this around, it's going to be a long road back for the Washington Wizards. Kenny, Ernie, they are getting destroyed on the glass, as we all saw. Listen, sometimes it's about effort, passion, and it feels like they're lacking. You know what? They need you out there, dude. Seriously. You could give them 10 minutes right now off the bench, couldn't you? Yeah, for $300 million a year. Now let's change gears and talk a little bit about all-star voting. Hard to disagree with the names on that board, man. But every year, some guys fly under the radar who are not represented. Fortunately, there's still time for those guys to make their case. That does it for halftime. Let's get back to game. Just about ready for the second half here. A big comeback is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. Boy, what a heel displaying all his skills today. I like how they control the tempo and play to his strengths. And many of those quality shots have been jumpers. A very high percentage of those in the first half. On the court for Washington. Murray for three. Rodman with a rebound. And it didn't register as an official block but he did everything you want in disrupting that shot. You know what he did? He timed it well and did a good job of contesting without committing the foul. Now here's Young. Left side Murray. That one's good, and it's Young with the assist. Young's got six assists here tonight. They've had a hard time shutting down the three-point shot. And it's Butler off the drive, and they pick up two. You know, that was an excellent play right there, using his strength to power through contact. And the Hawks making a change here. And that one misses. Atlanta's gone one of two shooting from the perimeter since halftime. Right side, Young. And the Hawks with another three. This is how fast Trey Young gets his shot off, which is why he's so tough to guard. And on both sides of the ball, Rui Hachimura plays with great aggression. Grant, he embraces that part of his game. You can't ignore the physicality that he plays with. Rui is at his best when he's playing bully ball. Hunter, good. And he was dominant in their last outing. And the same thing here tonight. He is in a terrific groove right now. Here's the thing. He's a guy who will go on hot streaks for you over a number of games. Here's Arenas. He's got 11. Six on the shot clock. And blocked. That one goes careening off the glass. Pass to Okongwu. Three-pointer. Lanier with the rebound. Lanier's got four rebounds now. Hill for three. And again, Washington with a triple. In order to create effective spacing, you need enough guys on the floor that can hit from downtown. Murray finds Achimura. He drops it from range. Achimura's gotten himself going with a triple. His first basket of the game. And it's Butler off the drive. And the bucket counts. And he is on his way to the line. He'll try to make it a three-point play. Shooting for Washington. Come on, Butler. And here's Young. He'll bring it up for the Hawks. Puts one up from 19. Rodman with a rebound. The Wizards have gone four of six from the floor in this third quarter. Arenas passes to Rodman. Outside for Butler. Here's Lanier. Good, and Butler gets the assist. One sign of a great playmaker, hitting his man in stride. Young, the pass to Okongwu. Another three for Atlanta. 
And this is what you want to do when you've got a big lead. Must stay aggressive. I'm impressed with their intensity tonight. They've came in focused and they've executed. Now here's Hunter. He's got 13. Very consistent tonight at the offensive end. Right there, he helps fuel the fire. Here's Hill. Hachimura with a rebound. Atlanta has gotten 12 of their points this quarter from deep. Four of six. And he throws it down. What a terrific lead pass. Using his excellent vision. Young finds the open man. Pass to Rodman. And here's Butler. Can they get it? Hunter with the rebound. Hunter's got eight rebounds in the game. And here are the top three-point shooters in the NBA. Second is Buddy Heald. DeJounte Murray third. And the way both of these guys open up the floor with their long-range shooting, you just can't afford to give them any airspace from deep. I love how DeJounte Murray plays with reckless abandon. He is fearless with his body, and that can often give him an edge against the deep. Toppin, he's checked in for Butler. Now here's Hill. He's got 10. 144 left to play in the third quarter. And in traffic, he uses the reverse to keep the shot blocker at bay. What an incredible move. Not everyone has that kind of skill. Hachimura from long range. That one's good, and it's Young with the assist. Hachimura's got six here in the quarter. Pass to Arenas. Stolen by Young. Out to the right wing. Stolen. The finish! Oh, oh my hammer at home! Ooh, that hurt. Filthy. I mean, just the arena is stunned. He's got a deep bag of tricks to dig into. Here's Hachimura. Blanketed it by the D. He fights to the rim for the layup. Hachimura's got eight points. Not to be denied, Hachimura has a great motor and competes with the best of them. All right, let's see what the Atlanta Hawks have coming up. On Monday, they'll begin a road trip starting in Utah, going up against the Jazz. Then on Wednesday, they'll be facing Kevin Durant and the Phoenix Suns. What a great opportunity for this team to take a step forward. They have some tough road games coming up, and that kind of stretch can bring a team together. Winning some of these games would be huge for their overall oh, Are you kidding me? And he's been an ideal teammate tonight. He's really creating plenty of looks with his passing. There has been an emphasis on ball movement, and he's been a major catalyst. Toppin outside. Kispert on the wing. Toppin outside. There's the triple. Hachimura with a rebound. And they're up considerably because of their efforts on the glass. Here's Hunter. And he can't get that one. Ooh, good D by Bagley. Hachimura from long range. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touched by Hunter. Unforced errors. These are the kinds of things that break momentum. There's 10 seconds left in the third quarter. That's tipped. It's stolen by Hunter. He's all alone. Oh, my. What a slam right at the buzzer. And so it's Atlanta making this game a no contest. They poured it on early, and they've never let up. Their efficiency has been off the charts. They're running their sets well with patience and purpose. Time for a quick break, then back to the action. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist to the game. And I'll tell you what, this was a no-brainer tonight. Take a look at the precision on this feed. Couldn't place it any better. This is why you preach teamwork. Some of the most spectacular plays are the ones where guys are feeding off one another. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may already be out of hand. The talented duo of Young and Murray of the backcourt. Rui Hachimura is out there with a Kongwu. And it's Hunter in at the center position, locking down the middle. So that's the lineup for Atlanta. Just five on the clock. Fires from deep. Rebounded by the Hawks. And that'll be their only game on the road before heading back home. Right side, Young. Murray from outside. Rebound, Washington. 
Lanier's got five rebounds in the game. Baseline try. He got a piece of it. Pass to Okongwu. Hunter on the wing. From behind the arc. Knocks it down from distance. Hunter's got 13 points here in the second half alone. And now we'll get a perspective here on how the hustle game has been going for the Hawks. It's easy for me. Look at their defensive effort all game. The block total shows their commitment to contesting shots. And we also got to talk about the number of points they've scored in transition. Just jumping all over the opposition in this regard. Young from long range. And the Hawks with another three. What an effort by Trey Young. He found a way to score it. Down low, Kispert. And he jams it home with authority. Excellent timing on that play and a wonderful pass. Hachimura outside. Topping with a steal. Here's Kispert, guarded by Young. 4-3. Hunter with the rebound. At some point, when you recognize someone's this out of rhythm, you have to shift to something else. There's a screen. Off target with the three. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. And with expansion whispers continuing to grow, Smitty, if it happens, you figure there would have to be some realignment. Yes, B.A. Most likely a team would move to the east. It presents a chance for the NBA to change the layout of the league. Might add a division and find ways to cut down on travel. To the middle. Here's Kispert. The rebound by Murray. This is the shot you want right at the rim. He just couldn't deliver. And it's good. Two points. Multifaceted as Trey Young may be. Everything still starts with that jumper. Man, miss after miss for him. When you're having a quarter like this, the only beneficiary is the defense. Now to Achimura. Here's Hunter. And it's Atlanta scoring again. And trying to put the game away, he's been nailed all evening. And he's doing it by getting to his spots and making big shots. Pass to Kispert. Buries it from three. Kispert. You're leaving him all alone? <laughs> Good luck. He's going to drill that every time. Young, the pass to Achimura. And here's Hunter from the arc. He buries it from three. Hunter's got eight here in this quarter. Exchanging buckets from downtown. That's been a staple of tonight's game. Hey, players love competition. And the fans love it as well. Murray from outside sinks it from distance. And that's his second triple of the game. Hadn't hit any in the first half. Maybe they made an adjustment at the break. Tried to come right back with a three of his own, but it's no good. His struggles this quarter are self-evident, and the team just continues to suffer for it. Hunter can't get it to go. Got the ball where he wanted it, but then got swarmed. Kispert, the pass to Toppin. From downtown, the rebound by Murray. Murray's got four rebounds now. Right side, Young. Here's the three. Yet another assist. That makes 15 assists. He has been one step ahead of the defense all game long. A shot to stop the run. Connects from downtown. That's his second three-pointer of the night. One in each half. Trying to keep the defense honest. Young from long range. And the Hawks with another three. A dozen consecutive points off of threes. This defense looks rattled. And here's Kispert from the arc. And again, Washington with a triple. The three-point shooting has been on point here in the second half. Young way outside. Offensive board, Murray. Another score. His fifth fake out of ten tries. The defense getting out-hustled on the putback. Can't let that happen. For some reason, blocking out has become a lost art, and that's the result you'll get. And so it's Atlanta easily grabbing this one. Boy, they were something special to watch tonight, and the crowd loving every second of it. It's always a great feeling when you play this well for your fans. This team really showed what it's capable of. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Steve Smith, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson. Thanks for being with us.
But as we go, let's take a look at the New Balance Player of the Game. 